Hey everybody, Charlie 92 here and welcome to the Talos Principle. If you're new to my channel, I do blind let's plays of adventure puzzle games, first person puzzle games, JRPGs, regular RPGs, anything with a story that's single player. And I've kind of found my niche in uh, puzzle games as I tend to be pretty decent at them as I take my time analytical. So we'll see what I can do with the Talos Principle. Been looking forward to playing this one. It's been on my radar for a while. What do I know about it? Well, it seems to be a first person adventure puzzle game and I can see what appears to be ancient Roman ruins. And that's about all I know of, of it. I do know there's robots. I did see a screenshot on Steam where it looks like an iRobot type robot or Android, whichever one you prefer. And that's about it. So real quick, let's look at the options. I've got uh, graphics options set up like this. I am playing on my laptop as I am on the road for work. Uh, sound options here. I think we may turn the master down one more little pip there. Let me know if the uh, master volume is still too loud and I can do some adjustments there. Uh, last thing I did was motion sickness. We turned off view bobbing. We're going to play first person and I do have uh, the reticle on that tends to help with motion sickness as well. So without further ado, let's watch the intro. And let's get started. Uh, demo. No, we're going to play the Talos Principle. Start a new game from the beginning. Yes. Initializing firmware. So is that insinuating that we are a robot? Yes, it does. We have robot hands. This is very uh, witness-esque. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Elohim. Elohim. All right, so we just we just start in front of this. What is this? Is this a tomb or is this a chair? I don't know. Okay, it sure is pretty here. All right, let's uh, see how this goes. Hopefully this isn't as brutal on my brain as The Witness was. I could only play The Witness for maybe an hour and a half, two hours max at a time before I had to just take a break. Just kind of let my brain defragment afterwards. Hopefully this isn't as brutal and is more thought provoking. As much as I like The Witness, any of you guys that have watched my playthrough know that I kind of thought it was a bit full of itself with some of the philosophy but that doesn't take away from the fact that it was an amazing game look at these lily pads those look really good when was this made i believe this was 2014 if i'm not mistaken all right let's continue on so can we go through the wavy purple barrier we can okay child program logic check so is this a test for whatever style of android slash robot that I am? By Elohim? Man, this looks good. I mean, it loses detail when you get up close, but still. Overall, aesthetically, looks good. Jammer. Oh yeah. We jamming. 
we can place it, it looks like. Subject, object, interaction. Okay, so yes, this is testing, right? So, jam you. What if we do... Oh, you can't grab it, it walks through. I want to see if I could take the jammer with me. It doesn't appear so. Okay, maybe they're just teaching us how to use a jammer. All right. Weird, weird looking like shadows here. They look almost like they're through a, a screen door or something. I don't know if that's just my settings or just how they're rendered here. Okay. So now we have to jam this one. No, this isn't one to jam. This is one to walk through. Purple, you can walk through. Alright. I have a notepad here. That's typically how I play these games. Uh-oh, what is that? Is that evil? Are you going to kill me? You don't look friendly. Okay, I just had to verify that that was bad. Correcting for errors done reloading child program. So we have been restart at the purple gate. Okay. I kind of figured that would kill me. I just wanted to prove to myself that it would. Rather than just make assumptions. Alright, so we got a jammer. Does this jam you? It does indeed, okay. You know, this almost reminds me of, like, Half-Life. Half-Life 2, to be specific. As far as, like, the aesthetic. You know what? Portal. Which, obviously, is built off of the Half-Life engine. Okay. So, find jammers to jam stuff. point of that okay so there's a ladder just know that it's there what is this I don't know where I am but this is something beautiful but there is something beautiful about this place I will explore and see what I can discover QR codes I wonder what happens if we scan those QR codes with our phones Sure hope we don't have to do anything like that. <laughs> Music, by the way, is awesome. Let me know if it's too low or too loud. I've tried to have it to where it's not overpowering my voice. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Do what now? Sigils and eternal life. Okay. Do I want that? Eternal life almost sounds like a curse to me. Alright, so courtyard. Is this a hub? I don't think so. Can we walk in the... We can walk in the water. Ooh, the water effects are horrible. <laughs> okay. Lily pads look good. The waves look horrible. All right. So there is... Tetris is this way. Oh, man. This is going to be like the witness where we have to learn rules. Yellow Tetris this way. Oh, what did it say? Oh, I can read through here. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs importance to guide my steps. I am one of his children, capitalized H, as in God or deity. And challengers are set before me to test my faith. One with faith, version 10.1.0011. All right, let's, uh, what's this? So redo and an X. This lock requires more. Oh, these are the sigils. Okay. 
I didn't know that the uh, Tetri were called sigils. So we can get three from over here. We can get Zigzag and LL Cool J. And we need to go through here to get Flat Piece and L. We need Zigzag and LL to get through there. Now, what's this way? It's an L this way. And then there's a T. Yeah, these are just 100% Tetris pieces. Okay. We're going to start with what it appears they're leading me towards the Zigzag and the LL. Okay, each one has a piece. So let's get the zigzag. A switch out of reach. So this is very portal-esque in that there are individual areas. Okay, so there's a mine there. There's a machine gun here. Can it see me here? See, the laser doesn't appear to be going past this tree, so if I stand here good and there's the sigil it's just a giant floating tetri okay that's what they're called right tetri so there's the switch that's apparently out of reach there is a jammer can we jump we can jump holy crap what can we do with our jumps can we sequence break i bet we can all right let's grab this Now, if we use this here, okay, pretty good distance on that, to be honest. Now, if we turn the switch off, then we can take the jammer back, right? Is that the idea? Seems to be. Okay, I prefer puzzles more like this than I do with like what the witness did and once again i know i keep referencing the witness but that's what comes to mind when i play this the witness had a million puzzles that were basically small squares that you drew a line through or several lines or variations thereof this seems to be a bit more environmentally based and i like that but i'm also curious to play games that have more physics puzzles as well uh, human fall flat comes to mind i don't know if that's one that you guys would be interested in seeing me play but I might take a liking to that. Can we go through the fence? We can. Fence, it cannot see through. Okay. So now we just walk around and grab the Tetris? It appears so. Now, don't get cocky. This is the first puzzle. So. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys, they are the sigils of our name. We can run. Each brings you closer to eternity. I feel like we move fast enough without running. I don't want to cause motion sickness uh, in the viewer or myself. I have the frame rate capped at 60 frames per second. I have uh, the bobbing from walking marked off. I'm trying not to move my mouse so crazily. I should probably... All right, there's a turret here. Now, can we... We can get right up behind the turret, right? Yes, so it only views out in a cone. We need to get over there. There's a mine there. It's a terrible thing to waste, but it's dad jokes for days. There is a jammer. Is it currently jamming anything? I don't know. Okay. That wall is saving me right now. Now, if we jam the wall, where does that go? So here's what we do. Give me this. How far away can we jam? Back here? Okay, you get on this side. All right, now you're trapped over here, right? Okay. And then we say no to turret. And then, uh, excuse me, I have to cough real quick. Thank you. I've been a bit under the weather, but that's not going to stop me from recording, especially when I have a day like this off from work 
and it's a perfect time to record. So if I have to pause every well now and done, again. Child. Only one more sigil is needed. Just so I can cough and or sneeze, I will uh, mute the mic, of course, so you guys don't have to hear it. Can I take this with me? That's what this is. Much like Portal, this is going to keep me from taking objects through, right? Yes. So yeah, this is um, very Portal-like. Aesthetically, no, but functionally, at least to me, it seems to be. It's not a huge open world like The Witness. It seems much more controlled, even though it looks open. I have all these walls that are basically keeping me in like a facility. Striding the beaten path. So there's probably hints within these titles as well that I need to kind of be aware of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get too close. Did you just hear beeps? Is that part of the music or was that something I did? Weird. I hear beeps right here. I don't know what that is. Okay. Sentries. I get it. So we just gotta walk. Okay. I see a jammer. Go try to get it. Run. Okay, you can't see past the walls here. Now, can I jam through here? If I jump, no. Whatever, just just go. Stop stop being all threatening. Can I jam this from here? I can. So let's do this. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. My temple. I gotta be honest, if I designed robot or android AI, the last thing I would want to be is worshipped. Very creepy. Alright, let's go over here. Elohim, was that his name? Alright, let's do a Tetris puzzle here. Oh, it tells you where to put it. Oh, so you have to fill in the... okay. What does this one say? Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Is there anything to be distracted by, though? I mean, it seems like we just have these puzzles. And other than, like, beautiful scenery, that's about it. Is this the beep beep I heard? This is. Look at my hands! 47 million distributed resources found. Networks inaccessible. Milton Library System. Library Archive Session. Oh, we have... Oh, things got a little more interesting. Let's see what the directory says. Help. Basic terminal commands are list. Open file name shows contents of a file. Help displays this. Run Milton. We're not going to do MLA yet. Well, maybe we will. Let's see what the list is first. There's a welcome. There's an Athena text and a figure it out. Are these emails? Yes. From Nadia Sarabhai? Institute for Applied in Percentage to Alexandra Drennan 
Nomadics. Welcome to the team. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me! Exclamation point. You are so young, and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. Smiley face. There's also something I want to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project, and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure, G. Let's do this, Nadia. What does the G mean? Nadia. Maybe like, no pressure, G, calling her a gangster? I don't know. Close that. Let's run the Athena 6 text. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Sorry, I can't enunciate well. Did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. We're playing Minecraft now. Yes, I know it's a reference to Greek mythology. All right, this apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes and not a few villains have come to claim it, but all faltered in their final step. For you must know that the deathlessness reveals the mortality of this world, and true wisdom is unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, load lunch of numbers, gazing upon the stars and wept. I wonder how in depth are the puzzles going to go in this game? Am I to copy down these numbers here and translate it with the text? that actually comes out of this Athena in the Garden of Hesperides and one for one these numbers into words or am I thinking way too deep for now I'm going to assume I'm thinking way too deep and we'll come back to that if we need to figure it out the way I see it the world doesn't come with the manual you gotta figure it out for yourself a bit here, a bit there, put it together try to make sense of it I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. I don't think we can possibly figure it all out. I think, much like he's saying, the adventure of trying to is probably worth more than the destination, right? All right, so we've ran the emails and the text. Let's check out the MLA. I'm assuming it's just like a graphic user interface for the same thing. Hello, guest. How can I help you today? Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Should be understand, right? I'm sorry, I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject, verb, object, syntax. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? Describe your functions. I'm not going to get in an argument with it. Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Your query. What is the current status of the library archive? There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up 5.4 petabytes of disk space. It has approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 2003. 
However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10.6 gigabytes of uncorrupted resource are indexed. Your query. What are these terminals? Provide access to library. Oh, cool. How long have you been running? Okay. I don't understand how you haven't just corrupted at this point. Well, I guess the library has, but like this terminal, how has it lasted this long without like the keys falling off and such? Maybe we're inside of a simulation, which would make more sense. What calls data corruption? Inevitability in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater and average. That makes sense. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? Why, why put forget the library? Just My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my response may be limited. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. Ah, I didn't know that. What am I? How would you know? You were logged in as a, with a guest account. How would it know what you are? Where am I? You're currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. How old are the archives? Is it 9999? Library resource publishing dates range from 1st July 1995. 27 June 2003 or 2030F? What's the F? Your query. Well, I don't like the pointless contraption part, but I'm going to click it anyway. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? You cannot insult me. Cool. Exit. So that's all with the MLA that we can do. Well, no, we're back at the library session, right? We've ran all of this, so let's exit. I'm assuming this is our lore interface. This is where we're going to get tidbits of lore as we go. But why do you look like such an ancient machine? This looks like... I used to have a Tandy 1000. Although it didn't look exactly like this, it's reminiscent of this style and era of computers. Kind of like mid 80s to very early early 90s computer style CRT display all right so that's our lore dump which is our reward for getting into this part right now there were paths back here I'm assuming we're going to meet a dead end eventually up here or it's going to require more pieces what does this say? We've got, oh, I like how it marks off what we've gotten. I don't like how it's in creepy spray paint, but cool. So if we need these parts, we just follow the signs. Okay. We're in another courtyard. I kind of want to go back and get those other pieces before we move on. The ambiance is very nice. So we've gotten all of those. I believe the rest are on this side. Let's get an L piece from here. I'm looking around because I feel like there may be hidden stuff that we want to check out. We'll just try to keep an eye out. Only two of us. My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. But the completionist in me wants to collect all sigils at once. Is there something that will prevent me from doing so? Yeah. 
And I can't grab it and take it through, right? No. But what I can do... Hmm. Maybe not. I thought maybe I could jam this one from there. Let's do this. Let's do that. Hold on. I'm confused. Hold on. Can I jam this one from this side? Yes. So now we can do this. Okay. Aha, giant Elohim voice. I got it anyway. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know you can move faster. I don't want to right now. Let's do one more. That's done. Let's get an orange one. Peephole. Ah, I see. this one then let's grab you place you here to use you to jam you and let's grab this one and we could jam you okay that wasn't too bad Come here, Tetris. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll head through here and try to continue on and, I guess, meet Elohim. But yes, stay tuned. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.